Rais William Ruto na naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa Jumatano wameongoza wa Kenya katika awamu ya ishirini ya maombi ya kitaifa katika hoteli ya kifahari ya Safari Park jijini Nairobi. Aliwaomba viongozi kuunganishwa na maono ya Kenya yenye nguvu, salama na yenye ustawi. Rais alishikilia kuwa hakuna kiongozi anayefaa kutekeleza ajenda ya hujuma kwa jina la ushindani. Democracy is a defined political gift which enables us to compete vigorously as we always do but also empowers us to reconcile our aspirations and recognize the fundamental unity of our truest aspirations in a single vision for a free strong prosperous united and secure nation alistiza kuwa serikali imedhamiria kutekeleza ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu ili kukabiliana na ukosefu wa ajira na ongezeko la makazi duni Rais alielezea hata wakati taifa linaposhiriki mjadala huu lazima wa Kenya waombe Mungu kila wakati. We all agree seated here. Members of parliament from all sides, leaders from all sides that we have 5 million of our young people out of school without jobs. 800,000 young people join them in the labor market every year. I was looking at the budget last night. 628 billion will be spent in the education of our children in this year's budget. From primary school all the way to our universities. Yet it is important for us to figure out how this investment will yield results Alisema Kenya iko katika nyakati za mageuzi na wakati ambao unahitaji ujasiri. Kwa upande wake naibu wa rais Rigathi Gashagwa alisema hata nchi inapopatana na Mungu na mwanadamu lazima taifa lipatane na ukweli unaofaa. The theme of reconciling with God and men could not be more appropriate for our country. I want to give a testimony that the president and a setting with the high office has led this country in forgiveness and reconciliation. Most of us who work around him had great difficulties with that approach. But along the way he has persuaded us and we are now aligned that reconciliation is the way to go for the betterment of this country. Mamia ya viongozi wakiwemo wabunge waliojumuisha wachache kutoka mrengo wa upinzani, maseneta, wabunge wawakilishi na wa county mbalimbali, viongozi wa kidini na wageni wengine waalikwa walianza kufika hotelini humo mapema kuanzia saa 12 alfajiri. Interpreting and feeding us with the Vinara wa upinzani wakiongozwa na Raila Amolo Odinga, Alonzo Musyoka, Martha Karua na Eugene Wamalwa wali kwepa kwani hawakuonekana popote. Jumanne vinara hao wa mrengo wa azimio la umoja ah, tayari walikuwa wameelezea nia yao ya kutoshiriki maombi hayo ya kitaifa japo waliwauruhusu wabunge wao kuhudhuria hafla hiyo kwa hiari yao. Problem. Three problem. 